Hey everyone, it's Andy Zitzman, founder of the Game Time Movement, where I'm on a mission to helping you and one million other people step up your game. In this short three to five minutes every day, I'm going to provide you with inspiration, motivation, and empowering information so that you can wake up, have a little pick-me-up, get fired up so that you step up on a daily basis. So get ready, because it's time, it's your time, it's game time. Hey, hey, it's Andy Zitzman, and welcome to today's episode. In fact, thank God it's Friday. And today, it's actually Pay It Forward Friday. So as you can see, I started out the show a little bit differently. And as you can see, I have a shirt on called Life on Fire. My man, Nick Unsworth, is who I'm dedicating this show today. Nick is my business coach, and he runs a business called Life on Fire. Go check him out at lifeonfire.com. And Nick starts out all of his calls with, hey, hey. So Nick, if you're watching, hey, hey. I hope you are. I love you, brother. And this one's for you. So guys, we're talking about making a difference, and this is part three of Make a Difference series, and it's Friday. So today, the call to action is to pay it forward Friday. And Nick Unsworth, what he does, not only is he my coach, but what he does is each and every Friday, he goes out there and gives of himself freely, his time, his money, his energy, to just do a random act of kindness for a stranger. And he calls it Pay It Forward Friday. So, I want to share with you a story of what Nick inspired me to do and what happened so that you hopefully feel inspired, feel excited to get out there today on Friday and to do something a little bit special. So, as a result of watching Nick's Pay It Forward Friday and being his client and and joining his movement, I decided to start paying it forward on Fridays. And so, I went to a CVS a few weeks back and I was at CVS and I see this old man getting out of a car. Now, if I wasn't paying attention to paying it forward, I may have not done what I did. But because I did go with intention to make a difference that day, I saw this opportunity. And so this man was struggling to get out of the car. And so I walked up to him and I said, hey, young man, would you like a little bit of help? And he says, oh, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. So I put my arm out. He puts his arm in mine. And I walked this old man into CVS. And we're about to get in there and he lets go on my arm and he starts to walk away. And I said, hey, excuse me. I said, do you need some help shopping, young man? And he laughs again. He says, you know, that would be really great. Please, uh, please, yes, help me. And so I said, okay, great. So I took the man back by the arm. We went through CVS. We did our shopping and we get up to the register and he wouldn't let me pay for me, uh, pay for him. But what he did do was he let me, you know, just stay there with him and help him shop. And when we were finished, he looked me right in the eye. And he said, you know what? He's like, you've been blessed by God. He's like, you have a spirit and an energy about you. And that's not just you. That's not what you got from an education. You got that from the guy upstairs. And so I'm not that religious, but I am very spiritual. And he happened to be very religious, but it didn't really matter. The reality was that this man felt that something greater was working in the universe to put me in that place to help him that day. And I firmly believe that. And I firmly believe that Nick was brought into my life by something greater. And that Nick, in doing Pay It Forward Friday, was brought in from something greater. And that it all led to this chain of events where now I'm in the middle of CBS with a 96-year-old man helping him shop and the end result being he and I hugging it out. We're just hugging each other in front of everyone. We didn't care how foolish we looked. And he and I shared this experience. He looked in my eye. And he just said, thank you. And I could tell he meant it from the bottom of his heart. It changed my day. It changed his day. And I'm so glad that each and every Friday, I spend, I take time to make an intention to pay it forward. So today, in celebration of not only my man Nick Unsworth at Life on Fire, lifeonfire.com, check him out, but in celebration of making a difference, that it's the game time, make a difference, three-day challenge, go out there, and make a difference a day with your time, your money, your energy. Do one random act of kindness for a stranger today and pay it forward Friday. Hey, thanks for tuning in today and thanks for stepping up your game. Here's what you can do to spread the movement. Go to GameTimeMovement.com and be sure to share your Game Time Moment of the Day, your GMOTD, so that others will feel compelled to share their Game Time Moments too. And if you haven't already, 
Subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, and please be so kind to leave a rating and review so that we can reach one million people and encourage them to step up their game, too. This is Andy Zitzman reminding you, it's your time, it's game time, till next time.